Many of you will already be familiar with the sunshade that I made using um, core foam board and these plastic extrusions which are available locally from hardware stores here in New Zealand. Now this sunshade uh, has been brilliant to use, uh, it's very very effective, it's very strong and also it was very cheap to make. Um, the one thing with it is that, that uh, makes it a little bit difficult to use is the amount of setup time. Um, it takes about two minutes probably tops to set it up and now although that doesn't actually seem like much when you're on scene wanting to film something it is a little bit fiddly um, and I just thought to myself well there's got to be a better way. Fortunately there is. Okay, to make the sunshade at home out of uh, your own materials this is pretty much what you're going to need. Um, just be aware that with the with the core flute board there are two grades of it. Um, the, the heavier grade is what you need for this. Um, you will find this stuff here really commonly used on uh, real estate signs and things. This is just too thin and it's, uh, it's very um, flexible in comparison. So just try and find some of the uh, heavy duty stuff, just steal someone's real, real estate sign or go to a sign writer. Um, it's cheap so I think you know the materials you need will probably only cost you about two or three dollars. Of course you're going to need some good uh, heavy kind of glue. Um, this is what uh, we've used here. Um, a marker pen, sharpie pen and of course a good craft knife as well. So uh, that's it. It's as simple as that. Ah well almost as simple as that of course the extrusion material so this is the six millimeter extrusion um, you'll need four pieces of this just slightly shorter than this piece but four pieces of this if you don't have this available in your market um, then send me an email I'll put the link at the end of this uh, video send me an email and for the cost of postage and the materials I'll happily send this anywhere in the world for you so you can use it I have been sending these kits around the uh, world for a little while now um, but just for the older kit uh, for the older sunshade I think you'll find that this new one is going to work just beautifully. Okay so here's a piece of the core flute board um, which I'm going to use for this demonstration this is my iPad this is of course an iPad mini so what I've done is set the iPad mini in the center of the board marked up it needs to be it's really important it needs to be really tight against the side so you need to mark it up the length of the board. Make sure that the grain of the board is running this way. It's really important that you do that. So just follow that instruction um, and you'll be fine. And you'll also, in the center of this edge here, you need to cut that wee indent. It's about a centimeter. Um, and I think that's about eight centimeters in from each side. So don't forget to do that. Of course, that's where the clamp for the Inspire or the Phantom 3 holder uh, off the controller goes. With those lines that you've drawn down the centre of the board like so, what you need to do is, with the craft knife, very carefully just cut through the top layer of the core foam, the core flute, uh, like so. So the bottom layer acts as the hinge. Do that on both sides, like so. And as you'll see, it's starting to take shape. Once you've cut those lines uh, through, the, um, through the top layer of the core flute board, the next stage is to get your extrusion material and glue the extrusion on. You need four pieces, I've just got two here, you need four pieces, You one there, one there, like so, one here, and one down the bottom here. Like with any good cooking show, I've prepared this one uh, earlier with the four extrusions already glued on um, and the, those obviously those cuts in place so as you can see there uh, it uh, come up really well it's nice and square um, very neat and tidy there are no loose parts or anything that can fray or wear um, and so you know the ultimate test of course is going to be how quickly and how easily that mounts on and of course how strong uh, it, uh, it actually is when it's, uh, when it's on the iPad or the uh, tablet. Of course this is the ultimate test, how quickly and how easily that will fit on to the iPad. Uh, so we just clip in the top, like so. Sides like so. There we go. Look at that. About three or four seconds 
and it holds its own weight. Perfect, that's nice and strong, very, very lightweight, um, fits on in seconds, and uh, you know, will cost, if you can buy the extrusion material yourself at home, this uh, whole setup will cost you about $2 to make. If you need to get the extrusion off me, then the cost will go up, but you've, you're left with a, a really good, ingeniously designed um, sunshade that uh, is very strong and rigid and, uh, and will last you for years. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it, take care.